Apparently, the heart and soul of a black hole means hope and joy. Come back to find out who said it. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz. Yo, what's happening, After Buzzers out there? It is Joshua Wright, your Jupiter journeyman. I am here with my wonderful, wonderful shipmates. I have to my left, <laughs> Dina Kalapala, the Cross Circle Conspirator. Say How's what's it up? going? It's going well, Dina. Yeah, good weekend. It was good. How about yours? Yeah, it was pretty good. All right. I just I just found out that Dina has some uh, production experience, so I'm ready to see what she's going to say to me today. To the left, I have Miss Hallie Johnson, our Space Games guru. How you doing over there? Yo, I got 11 hours of sleep last night. Oh. I am ready to go. I am super hyper right now. Maybe you should be the captain of this ship with those hours. I mean, I don't feel like being captain. I gotta be hype woman, you <laughs> okay, know? Okay, we'll take it. The eight man uh, corner. Or the eight uh, woman corner. There you go. Mm, mm, and mm. then to her left, everybody knows him as the real Jack Farmer, but here he is our in-house contrarian, the sci-fi savant. What's happening? Nanu Nanu, everybody. Glad to be here. And we've got a chat already rolling, even though we're coming in a little bit early today. But uh, yeah, we've already got some chat going on. ER's grandpa, how's it going? Uh, go ahead and join us if you're, uh, you're not there yet otherwise er's grandpa by the way is the coolest person on earth right now uh, right well er's grandpa i think you have some fans up here at after yeah. buzz you might I'm, wanna... I'm a huge fan of er's grandpa yeah go ahead and chat them and let them know what you think of them too er's grandpa <laughs> <laughs> but we have so much to cover today we have a collaboration between Cass and nico that i did not see coming we see the rise and the fall of sasha and we just have so many other things to discuss we have our space games that's brought to us by our guru and we also have our news and gossip now, before we get to any, any, any of that, I want to get the overall thoughts. What were your thoughts on this episode? And I'm going to come to Jack first. What's happening? Man, this was, we had, we had talked about before about how it feels like uh, a lot of the episodes will have some stuff go on and then a ton of stuff happens at the end. I feel mm -hmm. like that's the season right now. A lot mm -hmm. of stuff just seems to be bombarding us all at once. And as a viewer, I love it because I like it when a lot of stuff happens on a show. Okay, all right, Hallie, what's popping? I low-key feel like I've become like the lucky charm of this show because every time I don't do a prediction, the episodes get better and better. So are you not doing a prediction today, Hallie? Yeah, nope. I think that's what she said. That's exactly <laughs> nope. what she said. So she said, skip me, Josh. Just yep. skip on past me. Yep, especially <laughs> since we're coming to the end. I'm I'm totally enjoying this. This whole episode, I was like, oh my gosh, it's happening. And then the end, I was like, cool. All right. So all right, DK, what you got for me? This was a really good episode. Everything was, it, it was just craziness. Craziness? Yeah, and I, I feel kind of bad for Sasha now, but at the same time, I don't. Like, I do and I don't. Okay. So. I don't know if I feel bad for Sasha because his daddy's gone, too. I don't. Yeah, oh, so, so they're like reuniting and yeah, so they yeah wherever they are they go they together space heaven yeah <laughs> so, <good. Spevin. laughs> so well yeah for me um I did like the episode I did like however um uh, as opposed to last week how we had saw that last quarter of the show everything just escalated this week it was a gradual escalation and I like that a lot more so I want to start off by talking about the opening scene the collaboration between Cass and Nico Dina I'm gonna come to you first. Did you think that Cass and Nico would collaborate to kill or try and apprehend Sasha? I was so funny when I saw Cass in the corner hiding mm -hmm. from the whole Sasha Beach scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I just knew that Josh was going to ask something about Cass's leadership <laughs> skills. I just anticipated that. Uh, I'm sorry, what was your question? So, again? How, what did you think about their collaboration, Cass and Nico? It was good. Okay. It was nice to see. I like their teamwork. It makes the dream work. Okay, so, okay, I'm going to stay there. All right, go ahead, Hallie. <laughs> <laughs> you made me ask another question, but I'm going to do it later. Okay, go ahead. Right. <laughs> you like I, that? Yeah, I feel like I can't say anything, Dina. You handle that. Like, <laughs> I was like, okay. But I will say one thing, though. Mm -hmm. When I saw Kaz hiding in the corner, I low-key thought she was still high off, high off of the space weed because yeah. she, was, um, she was in there like this, like, huh. <laughs> and oh, I was okay. like, I was like, is this girl still tripping right now? Okay. And then she came out the wires like, Wah! and I was like, oh, okay, she's handling it. Mm -hmm. Okay. She was just waiting for her moment. Yeah, right. but I wish she would have just killed him. 
to be honest. Okay. I'm surprised they didn't. I thought they were going to go take him out right there when they had ganged up on yeah, him. Yeah, they could have teamed up, yeah. They could have easily done it and, and prevented the whole thing. I was just like, come on, y'all. That's why I didn't get why Nico wanted to, like, reason with Sasha at that point. Like, drills are coming out of his eyes. He's trying to destroy the ship. At that point, why are you like, no, let's talk it out? No, I mean, that she's already killed people before. Why not just... She's well, killed people for less before, I should say. Well, let's Man, remember. Hashtag justice for Ian. Oh, gosh. I <laughs> disagree now. You <laughs> ruined the whole moment. Oh. Anyway, Ian is dead and gone. By this time, he has almost disintegrated, okay, back in the dirt. So. Space heaven. Look, so anyway, but this is what I feel. With Cass and Nico, I did like the collaboration. I did not see it coming, however. But I do agree with you. I feel like they should have done more to, to either kill him or apprehend him, like chop his leg off or something. Something. You know, something to disable him because he but, still was mobile. But, 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 but. It was probably a good idea that they didn't because now he's a battery. <laughs> yeah. He's a, yes. Which <laughs> a little will, laugh at the end. Yes. <laughs> we will get to in a little bit. Okay. Well, the other question I wanted to ask you, Dina, since you brought it up. Okay. Is, is Cass fit to lead now? That she shows some leadership ability? No. 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 Okay. Dang. No. Is she okay? Is she fit to be a vice president? Look, if if this was um, America's Got Talent, that would have been three X's already off the stage. Cast, okay. You're done. Okay. Okay. I, I don't agree with that. But uh, okay. Go ahead. Dean. I mean, she has great leadership qualities. I just think she needs to work with someone else. She Other can't. Than Nico. She can't be the anchor. She can be the co-anchor. Okay, that's cool. I'll she take still that. has more learning to do. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then let's skip. Let's let's stay on Cass for a minute. So we notice how Cass is the savior of Beecham. She comes back. She she speaks to him. She rescues him. She talks him back away out of his coma. And now they're getting ready to depart the ship. And Cass is in charge. She tells Beecham like, "Look, bro, your brain's been fried. You need to go chill out." And he comes and tries to take over. How did you feel about her leadership in that moment, being able to take over and and kind of guide everybody? You know, I I almost feel like. Um the other teammates should have stuck up for Cass in that moment because okay. the thing is is if it weren't for the the ship showing up out of the middle of nowhere I mm -hmm. felt like it would have turned into another tyranny takeover because it's like they were they they don't really seem united and you would think by now that they would be but for some reason it's like oh, okay it, maybe they're all just waiting for their turn to be captain that's why they're not really saying anything but Beecham you need to sit down well, also take into account that Javi is still not awake yet. I feel That's like true. he would have said something in that moment. Yeah, he's but the only one who ever says anything. There was still other people, though, that just watched yeah, the whole thing happen, like deer in headlights. And I was like, I mean, do you guys want to support Cass or well, let not? Me, let me say something. I want, to, I want to piggyback off a point you made. The reason I think they are not united is because they've stayed this whole thing, taken this time together to work individually. Like, there's only been collaboration with people who like each other. Bernie and Zane, August and Oliver. Like, who else has collaborated? When has Nico collaborated with Oliver without August in the midst? You so know? it seems to me that everyone has paired off, so they're all working together. Yeah. But there's no cohesion across the whole team. It seems like the means of them coming together is some sort of sexual or romantic... Right type of encounter. So if that's the only way to get united on the ship, count me out. Oh, I thought you were going to say in. <laughs> no. Uh -oh. I'm good. Uh -oh. Single ladies. No, thank you. <laughs> Press release, you know. Well, in that case, August is the biggest leader because she has the biggest team, so to speak. I thought you were going to say oh, something else. I was, like, I was like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Well, I mean, but part of her team is disabled right now, Jack. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm she's saying. one man down. Yeah. Right, but unlike any other leader, she's been able to keep him alive and around. Everyone else seems to lose someone. I mean, I'm just disabled. saying, you go around acting like you Velcro, I'll stick to you, too. You know, that's, <laughs> that's all that is, you know? Can we talk about how annoying Beecham is? Yeah, well, he's very, well, so very did, annoying. Does he deserve a topic? Does Beecham deserve a topic? Probably not. He no, should be the leader. But... <laughs> Beecham should be the leader. Oh, here we go. Leaders are supposed to be likable. He's he's logical. He's Who said smart. that? He has a he's... sense of it. Yeah, true. Bill Belichick isn't likable, but he's the leader of the Patriots, and they do just fine. Yeah, but you can't compare everybody to the Patriots. 
Uh, Beecham has can, a sense of entitlement, and he just remind he just reminds me of one of those annoying frat boys. Okay, so from she an has, Ivy League school, right? So she's having a memory of somebody that that correlates with the idiocy of Beecham. That's not a specific person. No, I know you're saying that's like, a like, really yeah. good who hashtag, are, who are by the way. Yeah. About specifically, <laughs> no one. But it's just it's the aura he has is just one of entitlement. Right. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's do this. Let's give them a break. I want to talk about. Um, I want to move over to Harper. So we noticed a couple of episodes ago, Harper gets pulled into this artifact, and now she comes out and she's just stoic. You know, she's just, what's going on? She's Zen Harper. Yeah, she's Zen Harper. And now we find out that she has, her brain has been uh, compromised the same way Sasha's brain has been compromised. Mm -hmm. So how is Eric supposed to respond to Harper? Uh, not the way he responded in the show. Okay. That was so frustrating. I, I just thought it was so naive of him. Dina, I'm sorry, but you try having a kid with leukemia cancer and see how you react. Okay, but... That's a fair point. I'm, I'm just saying, but, but, I'm not even in that situation and but, I still felt for him. But I wouldn't... I, I feel like if I had a child with leukemia, I would want to... I, I, I just would want a valid source. See, you right. guys are saying this Cause, is because that's not the source that you go to. Like literally, right after he left the room, she smirked. This is you guys call that's it Zen fair. Harper. I call it Peak Harper. And what I mean is, right now Harper has played a chess game. And when you're playing chess and someone has you beat, you still got to go through the motions, even though you haven't necessarily lost yet. Um. Harper has put her her pieces in place mm -hmm. so that. Eric has to do what she wants to save his kid. Harper do doesn't have pieces anymore. Harper has been hijacked. Okay, so let me let me let I me interject mean, here. So I want to go to Jack. So Jack, you're saying that Harper at this point has the upper hand in order to manipulate yeah. Eric. Yes. I mean, aside from the the concept of is this an alien or, or is this Harper, mm -hmm. that character on the show now has the advantage. So does Eric bear any responsibility in how he's been responding to Harper? Well, I think going back to last episode, I don't think Jenna should have been anywhere near yeah, that well, we're whole not thing. About but that. here and there, I think as a parent, your job needs to be to look out for your kid first and foremost. Okay, so same question. So does yes. Eric bear any accountability with what how he's responding to Harper? He could he could have been smoother about it, but so I yet, think at yet, the end of the day, the result's the same. So. Yes, so no. he does. So, so no, he I doesn't. Mean, not, not really. I mean, okay. he could have been, he could have been more clever about it. Maybe tried to play the game a bit more. He, he showed his cards a little too early. Okay. But <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, at this point, Harper knows she's got him where he wants him. And Eric, Eric okay, has so, no game whatsoever. Okay, so then, <laughs> so yeah, but that, that's a okay. That's a fair. So I'm moving to you then, Hallie, since you responded. So Jack says that he doesn't re doesn't bear any accountability in how he's responding to Harper. But to me, he's showing that he's vulnerable. So how is he supposed to react to her knowing that she is compromised but she has power over his daughter's health? I think you guys are forgetting the fact that right now Harper is hijacked. This isn't really hyper. I'm sorry, hyper. <laughs> this isn't really Harper. This is Harper hijacked. Right, so, I, I, and I put that in the question. So that's why I'm asking how do you think he's supposed to respond? I think it's best he get as much information out of her as possible at okay. this point. Um, I mean, it's a little bit too late to play nice. He was the one who brought his daughter down there in the first place. Okay. So. Not, not necessarily, though, because if we remember with Sasha, Sasha there's still a piece of Sasha in there but that Sasha was no, weak-minded. No, 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 no. It's, it's the dark side of Sasha, though. We all have a dark side of ourselves. Now imagine an alien device implanted in your brain that's meant to exasperate the dark side of yourself. I think Harper already had a dark side. Of and course. she was already manipulative, so this alien being manipulative is not anything new to Harper, because that's it's who just, she was. So does she feel comfortable? Bigger. Harper feels comfortable in this environment. I don't think she feels comfortable. I think I, I think something more is going to develop, and I'll leave it at that. Okay. Well, let me say this. I, I think Eric bears 100% of uh, accountability, because it doesn't matter. Like, he's had this relationship with Harper. At this point, we know it's been at least nine years. So for me, Eric should be more on point. This goes back to my point where I said Nico should be more of a... Uh, 
more she should notice more of what's going on how everyone ate the salad except Sasha and she's chomping down those are moments where you're supposed to stand back and you're supposed to analyze what's going on to make sure you're looking at things holistically and I think Eric isn't doing that I think Eric has taken Harper and just whatever she's saying he's just become so vulnerable even after Dubois warned him and I'll let you respond she warned him and said just ask the questions stick to the script because I already know what's going to happen. Go right. ahead, Nina. It, it, he showed how naive and vulnerable he was. That That's so frustrating to me. Like, even if his daughter is sick, you have to know that there are evil people and beings out there who would take advantage of you while you're down. That's true. I agree. And, and I, I mean, even if the aliens present, presented themselves as being nice, how are you so trusting of that? How right. do you know that's not just a trap? So I just thought he was so naive for his reaction okay, to it. Hallie wanted to say something. Um, basically, it's I, I think you guys are putting way too much responsibility on Eric. He has already proven not to be any type of leader throughout this entire show. But he's not supposed to be leading. I, I understand that, but you guys are putting so much responsibility on him, and I don't think... Eric can't handle responsibility. Where? Nico well, is the so one who's me, usually in charge. He is a this. mess without her. So... I'm putting responsibility on him because it's his child. So who's supposed to bear the responsibility if the mom is not there? If one he, parent isn't there. No, no, no. I, I agree. I agree with you. But for me, I like to see Eric as comedic relief at this point because there's nothing really responsible about him as a father. And as a scientist, he's a little bit lame, too. No, I feel like he's shown, like, him... He's just shown this trait of responsibility in the past throughout the show. Right. He's never been called on to lead. The only thing that I'm making it didactic to is his father, as him being a father to Jana. And at this point, I think he does bear responsibility because they're not. You're not supposed to, as a parent. In my, this is my opinion. You're not supposed to show vulnerability to somebody who has power over whatever is causing you to be vulnerable. And they also to have a team of doctors there. To, working on Jana. To who aren't to as intelligent defense, as the aliens, apparently. To Eric's defense, he wasn't on the ship, so he doesn't understand the idea that there could be a thing controlling Harper at this point. They showed it to him. Yeah. But he doesn't know what that means. I mean, there's something in the brain. But he, mean, he doesn't know, know what it means. He's a scientist. Oh, snap. We don't have... We don't have... I, well, I haven't seen anything like that on Earth before. He doesn't know what that means. It could be just another form of cancer. He doesn't know it's them controlling. Hey, hold up. If you guys are listening on iTunes right now, y'all should have just seen Josh's face. <laughs> that was hilarious. Well, this, this, this is what I'm saying. No, and I'm, I'm I didn't even see Josh's That's face. Okay. Hey. I'm on the same side as him. Can you, can you do it for us one more time? I can't do it. I don't know Josh's face. <laughs> it's too late. It's I'll too do late. it for you. It's it was done. like... I'm just like, saying, like, like th <laughs> this is where I come from, Jack, and I want you to respond. You yeah. are a scientist. Now, as I know scientists, they usually have PhDs because they're researchers. Right. Okay, so that means that you okay. have come across a foreign object on someone's brain at some point based off the research that you're doing. Mm -hmm. So your superior comes to you and shows you an illustration of a foreign object implanted at the top of the brain, yep. and you're saying he didn't know. I'm saying, what school do you get a PhD from where they tell you about alien implants on brains? It doesn't matter. There's a part. There, <laughs> there are things. Well, no, it's the truth, though. There are things. With, I, it's, he knows. We know nothing. He knows nothing know about what this nothing. is. You're assuming, based on what we know from a ship, that he's not on. No, that's not what I'm assuming from. I'm assuming from the education that you know nothing should be on the brain but what was put there. It could have been a tumor. As it could an have been objective anything. scientist, he was given a script of questions for research that he was told to stick to. And he didn't. But, All right, well, then we should have just fired but you him a just long time said, ago. But you just said that as a parent, it's his job to look out for his kid. Right, without those, exposing his vulnerabilities. But yeah. those questions aren't going to get him that answer. I mean, a question about the question. But we don't know that. He only made it to two questions. And when they show, when they showed the device, it was like 10 or 12 questions on there. I bet none of them had to do with Jana. But you can't put that bet out there because we didn't see them. That's but also that, a person. That's that, like, that's a, what's it called? Conflict of interest. But if it's your kid, it's who cares? Dang. I mean, if it's my kid, then I'm going to say, I don't care what ev happens to everyone else. I'm saving my kid. You, and, you, and what, see what, what happened? if you put them in a worse situation? Exactly. Because of how naive you are. She's going to die of cancer. That's, that's not true. That's not true. That's you worse. don't know that. 
the the doctor the doctor with the PhD that we that is studying things that we do understand is saying your daughter is going to die. Right, but a PhD doctor, unless they have an MD or a DO, is not a medical doctor. That is a doctor of philosophy, so they do not have the right to castigate no, someone. No, the, the doctor, doctor, like the medical doctor. You said, PA, brought, you, or you whatever, said a PhD. PhD. The the doctor. Do Semantics here. The doctor. That's the, not the, semantics. The, pers the person, that, oh, is guys, the person guys, that is literally guys, there for medical okay, guys is saying your this, kid will die if we don't get it figured out. Is ever hold, on, hold on, hold on. I have an idea. I have an idea. And that way we're all. Yes. Right. Yeah. I have an idea. Let's all take a collective deep breath in three, two, one. I'm right. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Get off his shit. That's how you take advantage, people. And that's what Harper did. And that's Spoken. why she oh gets gosh. what she wants. Spoken oh like gosh. somebody oh. with no children. Oh. Now, let's move to the next oh. subject. Oh, my God. Let's go. Jack, you know what? <laughs> I tried with you. I tried. <laughs> so let's let's move on to let's talk about Bernie. I want to talk about Bernie. And before we talk about Bernie, I want Hallie to address our wonderful audience. Thank you for tuning in and sticking with us through our aggressive argument that was great. <laughs> my brothers aren't here, so Jack is my brother today. Hit it, Hallie. Oh, by default. <laughs> well, you know what? Thank you guys so much for tuning in with us. You guys make us the ESPN of TV talk. So while you're here, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you're listening to us on itunes give us a good rating we really appreciate it we wouldn't be able to do it without you all righty so <laughs> now that hallie has given us our zen moment i'd like to move on to bernie jack jack <laughs> jack bernie supposed to be dead he is supposed to be dead but he yeah. keeps coming back and keeps getting saved I want to go to you first. Why yeah. do you think that is? Why does Bernie keep getting second and third chances? Well, I, I think we were saying before we, we went on the air, I think Bernie's the only one that has, on the show so far, who has been on the ledge of death and still come back. He's right? a cat. Every, every, every cat. <laughs> so he's got roughly four more times before uh, he's Bernie done. Um, so Wait, is this the fifth time? Something like that. Yeah, he's, okay. But he's 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 the only one that does seem to get to the ledge and then find a way back. Everyone else, once it looks like they're gone, they're pretty much. It's a wrap. They're pretty much okay. done. Um, I, I maybe we're just trying to see that he's more than just comic relief. He's got a little toughness to him. Or he's he tries to have a little toughness in him. Well, he seems to be competent because he keeps getting called on and he keeps completing these tasks. So there's something about Bernie that. You might lose. Look, everyone's having their moment to shine and step up. I agree. But I don't think Bernie is as serious as y'all is making him to be. Okay. He's, I think he's replaceable. I think they could just pull someone else off. Well, not anymore. That. Okay, go ahead, Dina. The, well, the girl that was supposed to replace him. Oh, uh, oh that's died right. In the <laughs> no, wasn't she supposed Why to? Why are you laughing? I thought she was Hashtag someone died. Justice for the lady that got right. woken up. I for thought five she was supposed seconds. to replace Javi. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Sasha Ooh, said she's no, not as smart as Javi. Point. No, no, yeah, she was. It was Javi. Yeah, it was Javi. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, then I take back my laugh. Oh, it was a, oh, oh. Okay. Well, Bernie to me just he keeps coming through like he's he was the 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 host then the cure. Then he's working with Zane on uh, whatever the project was. I can't remember at this point when they saw that Sasha denied them. And Zane was like, you know, he denied to do my, my little evaluation anyway. And now here's Bernie again showing himself to be worthy. He's coming in. He's turning the air back on. He's getting the heat down. So to me, Bernie is that person where he's like, uh, if you know anything about corporations, you know, you have CEOs, COOs, CFOs. To me, Bernie is the CFO. He's the one that's watching the money, and people forget that he has as much power as he has. And he's just quietly solving problems for everybody. That's how I look at Bernie. Uh, Hallie's going to disagree with you. I see it in her face. No, it's okay. I'm giving you an eye roll right now. You don't know what I'm about to say. <laughs> <laughs> but what were you about yeah, to say? Yeah, what is your response to it? <laughs> Dang! Um, is this don't look to me for support. <laughs> you threw me under the bus. <laughs> What? I'm turning, this I'm turning this back. must be I'm what turning. it feels like to be on the, on the ship right now. <laughs> oh, Lord. You guys are letting this get to you way too much. Are you going to disagree with him, though? I have nothing to say. All right. Oh, we'll, okay. the fifth. Okay. we'll go on okay. from there then. Okay. Well, um, I want to piggyback to um, to Harper and her, her smug response to Eric. So Harper is knowingly manipulating Eric, and Eric seems to just fall right into it. He sends her the earpiece while she's locked up, and she's telling him, hey, if you get me out of here, I can tell you how to save your daughter. Do you all think that this is uh, a responsible way to communicate with Harper for Eric to find a cure for his daughter? No. Okay, why not, Dina? <laughs> I just, it's just, it's just so naive. 
That's the only word I can use to describe Eric right now. So you think Eric is trapping himself? Yeah. Okay. He's he's gonna put himself and Jana in more harm's way. Okay. How, that, you... how can you be so trusting? I just don't understand. How do you right. put your full trust into someone whose brain has been compromised by this alien <laughs> artifact? What mm -hmm. are you laughing at? I'm so <laughs> annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because it, I love once again, like I said, I decided episodes ago that Eric is comedic relief for me. So I just find He's everything he does. Though. I just find that everything he does is so hilarious because it's like, dude, get your stuff together. At this He's point. a parent. He's not supposed. Like, how how are you so trusting? I just don't understand. Have you not had that many life? You know what? You know what? Okay. In so in our chat right now, Laundry Day said something that's going to sum this up for everyone. Y'all okay. ready for this? All right. All right. Laundry Day said, when it comes to your kids, emotions are high. It's hard to compartmentalize PhD and science and emotional stress, and that's true. It's true. It's so difficult to do so that. So what she's saying is, um, I know people who were medical doctors, and when it came to their kids, they just forgot everything that they were trained on. Like, their kid yeah. can have a scratch, and they're just like, oh, we gotta go to the hospital. But if they saw your kid fall out of a tree and break their arm, they it's know like, exactly uh, what to yeah. do. Like, so that is a valid point with Laundry Day yeah. is saying. That's a valid point. Thank you, it's Laundry Day. It's a valid day. point, but I but, don't know. Okay, all right. Jack, how do you feel about Eric and Harper's communication at this I, point? So I think I, I worry that what I'm about to say might uh, start stepping into the predictions category, but we saw the aliens working with Sasha, and we saw that um, Sasha had a little bit of a kind of battle with the alien, but mm -hmm. the alien had control. I think at the end of the day, if one person is sneaky enough and conniving enough to outsmart the alien in her own brain... It's going to be Harper, like Harper and I okay. think Harper is going to pull the wool out from underneath the alien and actually save Jana's life. Okay, well, we'll find out. We, You know, that is uh, more of our prediction, so this is what I want to do. I want to tell everybody thank you so much for sticking with us through this. This I want to say this acrimonious show would be the perfect word. You know, I was a bit cantankerous. You know, I am a parent, so I want to make <laughs> sure that everybody understands that this show was a great show. The way it was written was good. I like the plot. And I think that there's so many things to come from this. I want to see what happens with Harper, with Eric. I want to see how Nico responds to a lot of the adversity that's going on on the ship. Now, before we get into our predictions, it's time to lighten the load with a little bit of Space Games. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> Cue the music, Space Games. This is new music. I, I mean, I was expecting something a little bit more hype, but, you know, that works, too. <laughs> this is part of it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I like that little, that little Diddy remix yeah. at the okay. end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remix. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Dum 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 dum. So the score is four two four. Yep. By the way, four Jack, mm -hmm. two Dina, mm -hmm. four. All right, Josh. First okay. one. All right, let's hit it. This is a song. It came out in the two thousands um, by a particular rapper. Men in Black. Stop it. No. Men in Black's not the rapper. Oh, Will Smith. I, I, do, you, do you guys want to play the game? No, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. And I can't tell you, obviously, the name of the song, but you're going to guess it. And it goes something like this. Hot in here. No. Yes. I am getting so hot. Oh, and that's because it was up. so hot on that ship. The whole episode. <laughs> yes. I was watching it and I was like, oh my god. Yes. All right. Darn. That's a good so one. You got the first one. All right, Nelly. Next one is. Okay. So, this is a particular type of person. Mm -hmm. They like <laughs> to play the victim very often. Taylor and then. Smith. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you finish, okay? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 okay. I said it's a particular type of person. Oh, type, okay. Yeah, not an exact person. Um, but it's a way you can describe someone, and also you can call someone this. And this person loves to play the victim, and then in the end, they kind of just like destroy themselves. I'll give you a clue. Oh, okay. The first letter of this word starts with an M. M as in Matt. Okay. They destroy I know, themselves. I, feel I know, like what I can know I this word. Yes. Am I allowed to answer? Martyr? Is that martyr? Yep. It was martyr. 
<laughs> just, uh, just in case you guys didn't hear it, our producer yeah. Bree, she was like, "Shout I out to Bree in the booth." Martyr, I, Mar- oh, I'm sorry, Bree gets like two points because she's not even here and okay. she's handling it. All right, next. Yeah, I was one. thinking martyr in, Bree my in the brain, booth. But if you could do me a favor and just Google like the answers and then just send them thing. just to my headphones, that would be fantastic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stop it, <laughs> <laughs> Bree. You are on point. Okay. <laughs> So this was a famous movie that came out in the '90s. It turned into um, it turned into a sequel as well, and there was also a trilogy to it. Really, really famous film starring uh, Chris Tucker uh, and Rush Ice Hour. Cube. No, uh, Friday. Yes. 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 I, I can't tell if you're cheating. He's really out. good. No, he's I, not. <laughs> I, you guys will. Uh, this is a bonus as well. This person gets two points if they can figure it out. Okay. I decided to let you guys into my brain when I was watching the episode. So, why do you think the movie Friday relates to this episode? Debo. I don't know. I just like Debo. <laughs> no. Is it just the original Friday or the entire? The original Friday. They were. Oh, it was the um, scene where Chris Tucker's character and Ice Cube's character they were sitting on the porch. And they went, damn. Oh, because they saw old girly. Right. But how do you think that relates to the episode? Because she had a moon on her. No. Uh, okay. No. See, because that's how I felt the moment when William said, I wanted. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, yeah. I wanted. Oh. I wanted. Yeah, I wanted Sasha Wait, to kill you. Wait, do I get you. the two points? You do, actually, because you figured it out. Oh, good job. Yeah, Yay. you, uh, you caught up. So it's five, yeah. four, four now. <laughs> and then don't forget, our producer, Brie, has two. All right, good yeah, job. You, you, right. I was tied with Brie. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do one last right, one. last one. Okay. Last one. Okay. So this woman was a famous ruler in Egypt. Cleopatra, Nefertiti, Hatshepsut. <laughs> <laughs> you were right at Cleopatra. Okay. You know that's not fair. Why? <laughs> that's, that's your thing. That's uh... For the record, no, no, no. <laughs> Dina is Egyptian. Just letting y'all know. Okay. <laughs> Wait, yeah, but, 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 hold, hold up. up. Hold up. You only get one point. Now you got to figure out why this relates to this episode. Because she sided with Rome? No. Or Greece? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Well, how it relates to the episode. You're uh, getting warmer when you said Greece, though, by the way. Come on, um, Dina, because I don't know. Ten seconds. I, I, hold on. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Did she, did she cross the sea and come back? Nah, not all right. Tell let, us me, how let, me, let me she educate came up you. In a carpet. Let me educate you. She all right. up in a carpet. So, as you guys may or may not know, it's hot in Egypt. Come on, she's going to give us the answer, Dina. <laughs> Cleopatra Pyramids. had a younger sister who was completely and utterly underestimated. She was kicked to the side all the time. And then she ended up plotting against Cleopatra and got Julius Caesar on her side, overthrew Cleopatra, mm-hmm. got her thrown out. Even though she didn't end up winning this battle, Cleopatra won. She managed to overthrow Cleopatra and outsmart her and her brother and the kingdom. And this girl was only 12 years old. And that relates That's ex- to... exactly what I was going to say if you gave me another second. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, okay. the, reason, you, Jack. the reason why, okay. the reason why is because this entire season, Sasha has been mostly overlooked. We never thought Sasha would ever come to anything. Right. He was like like a lackey, Weak. a side character. Yeah. Right. But the moment he got upset and was underestimated, now he's the boss. Now okay. he's in charge. All right. And I don't think he's going to win this, of course, but still at the same time, a carrot. you better watch out for your little sister. <laughs> he's a vegetable. So that's our, effort. That's our <laughs> rendition of Space Game. So Jack actually has six points. Dina is at six because you got a bonus. No, no, one, no. Right? I got... Yeah, no, four. she's no. Dina's at five. She's at yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's yeah. at five. Yeah, okay. yeah. I got the Egypt one. <laughs> okay, and I am still. But she got the other one right. Um, the Egypt one was a. Uh, Bob. Cleopatra, she got Bob Felicia right. Remember? Yeah, yeah that's what bumps her up to five. Oh, okay, I got yeah, you. Yeah. All right, and I'm still at four. So. And our, don't forget, Bree has two. I'm gonna win this next two. week. All right, so no chance. So now Thursday yeah, is no our chance. last show. So on Thursday, once it's over, it's over. So maybe we can have a little some flowers or something, a hat for the winner. Eero's grandpa made a good point that it wasn't actually Sasha that did all those things. It was the alien. Same difference. He <laughs> <laughs> was the proxy. Okay? Right. Yeah. Right. All just right. got corrected. <laughs> well, uh, well, since that bit of news came, it's a good segue into our news and gossip. After Buzz TV News. 
Netflix will release a new Breaking Bad film that will center on Jesse Pinkman. The movie El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie, will be available to watch on the streaming platform on October 11th. In other Netflix news, Disney is serving up some competition. Disney will offer high-definition streaming as part of its standard $6.99 per month That's basic right. plan. The company says it's D20 set the company announced that at its D23 Expo. Netflix does not offer high definition streaming in its basic tier which costs 8.99 per month in the US. CNBC reports that the new details on Disney Plus could add further pressure on a growing list of streaming competitors including Netflix. Still no update on whether Netflix will renew Another Life for a second season. Another Life actress Katie Sackhoff posts an Instagram selfie from Santa Monica Beach. You can see Selma Blair commenting heart emojis in the comments which brings us to Selma's Insta health updates. Selma posts a hashtag flashback Friday photo from her stay in Chicago's Northwestern Memorial Hospital. In the photo, Selma is contouring her, no her nose and holding the Hoda Beauty Topaz Obsession palette. In the caption, she says she's improving due to hematopoietics. I don't know if I pronounced that. <laughs> stem cell transplantation. The hashtag HSCT Salma's referring to is an FDA-approved treatment that helps reboot the immune system and combat mm. active relapsing multiple sclerosis, according to the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. Quote, I can walk much better, I am swollen, and joints are, are in pain, my eyes still don't focus, chemo and other high-dose drugs come at a price, I need to start physical therapy and get moving more, it will feel better, the beginning is hard, remember, sending love to you all, end quote. All right, that's it for our news and gossip, it's nice to see Katie Sackhoff chilling out in LA, that's pretty yeah. dope, you know, Santa Monica. I, I go are, there all the time. Yeah, would have loved an invite, Katie. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Uh, she's not inviting you because you said Ian is better than her. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, Tyler says said, Tyler bought his house in Hollywood. You can invite Jack over. Yeah, Tyler. Yeah. Where's, where are we having the housewarming party? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's good to see that uh, Selma's out now. She's uh, getting the medication. I like that part as well. And uh, now, you know, I'm telling you, our predictions are just creeping up on us, and it seems like Jack had a lot to say. And now, you're after Buzz TV. <laughs> so, I think, as I was saying before, I think what we're going to see is Harper pull the greatest trick she's ever pulled, and that is she's going to fool the aliens into giving her all the information she wants. Mm -hmm. Um because she's, I think she's going to prove to be the the sneakier, more dangerous okay. of the two, more and cunning. the more cunning. Mm -hmm. And I think she's going to save everybody. And the person that always came off as the villain will be the hero. Okay, Miss Johnson. All right, here's my prediction. Nope. <laughs> I ain't doing it. I'm telling <laughs> you, when I used to predict a lot. It was it was super boring, but then when I stopped predicting the last two episodes, it gets better and better. Are you into tarot cards and going to fortune tellers? I plead the fifth. <laughs> okay, yeah, she, she has just that constitutional doesn't, right. Just, okay, whatever. <laughs> Go ahead, Dina. <laughs> um, I actually disagree with your prediction because the alien is already in her brain. How how would they not see that? But anyways, um, I think what's gonna happen is Eric is gonna get his daughter and himself in more trouble. And then the season's gonna end. <laughs> oh Lord! <laughs> Just chop it off. Chop right. off the season. Yeah, it's gonna cut She's off. She's like right gang there. green Damn. season one. <laughs> so well for me, I think that um, I think that Sasha is going to be used as uh, I guess a caveat. I guess would be the word I'm looking for to find out how to solve the issue with Harper. Somehow they're going to have to communicate from Earth to ship as to what's been going on because at this point neither knows anything, and I think that's going to help them solve the problem on how to fix the pro fix the issues with the artifact and what the aliens want. I agree mm. with that. that. I can see that happening. You know what? I think you all have made very valid points. Oh well, thank you, Hallie. You're welcome. That's you a, are quite welcome. I like all that of political. Us so do Jack. we think do we think Sasha's going to be alive and like they're plugging into his brain? Oh yeah, I, I don't or? think he's going to live. I think they're using him. He's going to be a CTE victim straight up nah, like nah, nah, they're nah, going to nah. use him so but anyway 
<laughs> Thank you all for viewing with us today. We're so happy to be here. Jack, let everybody know where they can find you. You can find me at jackcfarmer.com if you're looking for a DJ, MC, or live event host. You can also find me at Real Jack Farmer across all social media. So go ahead and chat me up on Twitter. I love interacting with everybody about shows like Another Life. Howling. All right, y'all, my name is Holly Johnson, and you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all the things at Pure Holly, P-U-R-E-H-A-L-L-E. I'm on Instagram and Twitter at Dina Kalafala, which is spelled D-E-N-A-K-H-A-L-A. F-A-L-L-A-H. And I am your Jupiter Journeyman, Joshua Wright. You can find me on social media, Cleverly Clad. And catch me Wednesdays at 10 p.m. taping David Makes Man. We will see you all for the last show next week. Reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.